Hello and welcome to Chichi's Kitchen. Today I'm going to give you one of my favourite fish recipes, uh, fried fish recipes. And this recipe is inspired from my childhood. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, if you finish school and you run to the school gates because the lady, there always used to be a lady that used to come to school and sell her fried fish on a platter on her head. Um, and it was really spicy and delicious and absolutely amazing and it's one of the things I always, when I make this, I always think of that lady who used to come to school to sell her fried fish for us. So, for this dish, you're going to need some vegetable oil, one onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, half an inch of ginger, two stock cubes, a scotch bonnet chilli, some salt, uh, about four handfuls of flour, plain white flour, and two teaspoons of seasoned oil or a general seasoning and three fresh mackerel fish. Right, so first off, we're gonna start by cleaning the fish. I'm gonna cut the heads off and the fins. And the tails. And we're gonna just put a line down the fish here. And just gut out all the insides of it. Well, now I'm just going to cut these in like two inch diagonal slices because I think they look pretty uh, cut as a slice like this, but not too thick, just about two inches or an inch and a half apart. Yeah? Right, so I've finished prepping up uh, our vegetables or part of what's going to make our marinade. Um, that's one onion, uh, half an inch of ginger, two, three cloves of garlic, and we're going to put this all, and one scotch bonnet chili, and we're going to put this all in our food processor, because that can do all the hard work, and we, you know, all the chopping and everything, it's not necessary, put it in the blender, and it will do it, it will chop it up really fine. Right. That's why I love these little kitchen tools, they're wonderful, they do all the fussy work for you. I've blended my chilies, onions, garlic, um, all in here and it's great because I haven't had to put any water in it's made a little bit of a paste and that's exactly what I want out of this so I'm just going to add that to my fish with my two three teaspoons of general seasonings and you can do if you want to I like these Maggie cubes because they give a bit more depth to the food flavor of the food I'm going to put in one because I think that's sufficient there. And um, what we need to do is really get the fish working in with all of those flavours, your ginger, your chilli, your garlic and your seasonal. And we're going to leave this to marinate for about an hour, at least an hour, okay? Right, so our fish has been marinating for about an hour, an hour and a half. I can't wait. You can do it overnight, by the way, because uh, it's set up more flavour. I'm going to put the cooker on and put it on a medium heat, a heat that you can control. Oops. Um, and put enough oil in so that it's going to cover the fish. And if not, at least you can turn it over, right? So about half a litre of oil, that should be enough. And then I'm going to put some flour in my pan. And I'm going to take each piece of fish and dip it into the flour. And the whole idea is that the flour kind of dries it out and gives it a crisp coating um, whilst not making it too wet when it hits the oil. So we just coat that in flour each piece and it soaks up and it allows all the flavour to stay on the fish and absorb into the flour so it's a really lovely very very easy recipe and so delicious there we go. right so I've coated my fish pieces with flour and as you can see the fishes are quite dry now because it's soaked up all the flavour and all the moisture in the fish which is basically how you want it just shake off a little bit of the flour and gently, as you can see my, my oil's been heating for the last three minutes, gently put them in the pan. Oh, this is not divine. Oh my goodness. You must try this because it's so simple. 
such a simple recipe and it's really, really tasty. Lovely as a snack as well. So, you know. Start and tell me what you think. Right. So we've got that going. Just leave it till when it starts to get golden brown. Fish doesn't really take that long to cook, so don't panic. If it's been in the oil for two, three minutes, you're okay. But just starting to go brown now, so I'm just going to gently turn them over. I prefer to use a spatula because it's just safer rather than using, but you know. Use whatever feels comfortable to you. See how beautiful and crispy brown that is, and it's a lovely to taste. There we go. Just turn them over. It's really that simple, very tasty, lovely to have as a snack, you can have this with some salads and stuff. Chi-chi's, spicy, fried fish, enjoy.